Let's understand about setting up a debugger in the TypeScript code. It will help you to troubleshoot your errors and see how the different values are getting changed when your code is running step by step with this particular debugger. There are multiple ways in the TypeScript using VS Code you can set a debugger. We are going to see the debugger which is the default comes with the Chrome along with the VS Code here. Let's see how to do the setup for it. Very first thing, uh, to enable the debugging in the settings you need to turn on some option called here source map here this one so what it's going to do here it's going to create a source map files for the emitted javascript of course we are going to debug our typescript code who is understanding the typescript our vs code who is running your application the chrome so when the Chrome is running and you want to apply the debugging, it can just identify the JavaScript file, but you want to see and the track your code from the TypeScript. So this particular source map is necessary for that. So make sure you're turning on this particular source map for this. Let's save this configuration. As soon as I'm saving that, due to this particular watch mode is activated for our TypeScript compiler, I can see here one .js.map file got created. So right now we don't need to go in much detail about this particular map file. We can just understand it is just acting like a bridge between our TypeScript and the JavaScript so that we can, it can help us to perform the debugging uh, technically for the Chrome or our VS code. We can say uh, it's just acting something like a bridge. Let's quickly create a debugging here. So I'll just remove this and let's create let a equals to 10 then I'll say let B equals to 12 here and let C equals to A plus B and I'm just going to console the C option here. So let's apply the quick code formatter here and save it. Uh, here we should get an output called 22. That's coming very correctly here. Now I want to apply the debugging over here and I want to observe what are the values are coming up at this particular stage here. So I just need to hit here something called a red dot here before this particular line number seven. Yes, so we are setting up a debugger point here. So whenever the code execution will come, it will stop here and we can see what are the values are there inside C, A and B at that particular moment. Just go to run option here and click on start debugging. When you are doing it first time, it will ask you which particular environment you want to use. So here I'm selecting the Chrome one. Don't select any other one because others are having again different configuration. We are going to see the web app Chrome. For you, it might give you just Chrome, depend on the different versions of the Chrome, VS Code and the TypeScript you are using. As soon as I selected this, it is giving me some configuration file here. You can observe one VS code folder got created here, dot VS code inside that launch dot JSON. And very important field here that is called URL on which URL it is going to apply this debugger. We are not having any active live server running here. We are just having our HTML file. So instead of this, we need to put our HTML file. So just come back to your Chrome window and copy this particular path here and paste it here. For me, it's coming very long due to I'm using the MacBook. It's having some internal other folders. So just try to keep it something like a C drive, D drive, a normal one. If you're using the Windows one, that's it. Let me save this configuration and run start debugging. As soon as I do this, a new separate window will come up. Let me just open that window and show you. For me, it came on a different scheme. Give me a minute. Yeah. So this is a new screen that came here and where uh, it's just spinning and spinning. Why? Because if I open my VS code back again, I can see here the debugger breakpoint came here and our processing is stopped here itself. And now I can observe what's happening at this particular line. If I just click here and just go to the global here, it is showing me the value inside the variable A is 10. The value inside the B variable is 12 and the value inside the C variable is undefined. Why it's undefined? Because still the processing of this particular line is not completed. So here it is also giving an option to move next, move back, step out and step in. When they step out, step in, everything will be used and step over. When there is a function, you want to go inside that function or you want to come back out of that function without going inside all these options. So you can just do a trial and error here. I'm just 
using an option step into here to just go to the next line and now i should get the value of c because the execution for this is completed and i'm able to see the 22 here if we want to observe this behavior in more detail what we will do we will just stop this uh debugger again and instead of this breakpoint i'll quickly apply a for loop here which is saying a let i equals to one and just otherwise just make it a traditional one i is less than five and i plus plus and just want to console log the i variable let's apply the formatter here that's it and i want to apply the debugger over here now i can observe how this particular for loop is rotating five times or it is iterating five times in detail now with this debugger so start debugging yes done and now it's showing uh, its came here so initially i will be zero let's come back here and uh, try seeing these values let's uh, mention step in give me a second let me just make it move forward so we should get some i over here somewhere just, yeah i so i is equal to zero here that's perfectly fine then it's doing a console here that's also very good let's move to the next one again it is coming back on the line number nine it's interesting to see here you can also see this particular log is printed here zero now the i very the very uh, the value of i should be one yes the one again it should go to the console again next again it is checking i is equals to or less than equals to less than five whatever it could be yes the condition is true again it's making i plus plus making it two and it's complete it's doing this it will do this five time and when this is done that's it it's coming out of the loop and it's printing the line number 30 and we are over with this execution let's stop our server so in this way the we can apply the debugger in the TypeScript file and just to remind you the steps again let me just close this server very first thing you need to go to the ts config you need to turn on this source mapping true after that you should able to see this script.js.mapping file should come automatically here when you are setting it to true and saving your file then you just need to go here run and start debugging you need to select the chrome window and rest all the configuration and important here is to set this particular url to what is the url which is coming in your browser for me it's uh, it's this url so